Hi everybody, welcome back to 7 Days to Die, Alpha 19, episode 46 with me, Sid. And uh, you last left us up here. I, I spent the night up on this thing and uh, I think we are pretty clear for, for getting out. I don't think there's anything about that I need to worry. We're about nothing obvious anyway. So yeah, we we uh, we spent the night up here and uh, had a relatively uneventful night. I think there was one, maybe maybe one zombie, but that was about it. That got a bit close, but a quick headshot dealt with him nicely. So, um, yeah, we spent last episode getting experience completing a tier 4 clear quest, because they're relatively straightforward. Um, but what it did give me was the necessary skill points to invest in advanced engineering electrician, which allows me to make the generator, which was the thing we've been trying to get a hold of all this time. Now, it's day 69. Which means that um, we do need to get back home and do something about this. I'm just trying to think. If I go that way. Um, so we can then build the generator, build the um, dart traps, get everything set back up, and sure that we are safe, I'm just trying to think if I, yeah, that's the road I want. Ensure that um, the zombies can't get back in that way. And maybe, maybe stick a cage or something around it with a trap door to uh, protect the generator from unpleasantness. Might not be a bad idea. Oh, hello. I saw that last time. Might as well check it out while we're here. And I'm not even going to bother looting it. <laughs> um, so if we can get to that point, we should be sitting pretty for the Horde Night on day 70, which is obviously less than, well, I mean, it's 48 hours away, give or take. Maybe 36 hours, 20 hours, you know. It's tomorrow night. <laughs> Um, any more precision than that is unnecessary, I suppose. We just know it's coming. And, uh, you know, we'll just get that sorted out. I've got a few other things I want to put in place as well to uh, hopefully help a little bit with that. So I'm going to head back home. Uh, I am contemplating calling in here on the way home because it's on the way we've got time and uh, yeah might as well hey I'll see you when we get there it's an army camp I don't even know whether I've done it or not it is oh hello hang on sorry I'm getting distracted but I saw something Sorry. I am incredibly easily distracted, as you probably know by now. And, uh, I'll scrap that. Might as well scrap that. And we can probably flog that. All good. Now, what I did want to check out was what this is. Oh, hello. Sorry, I'm, I don't think I've ever seen this before.
definitely a, a difference. Location than I was, uh, I'm certainly used to. Don't see any body over there. Ah, intriguing. All right, let's. If there's anybody else down here, we'll just blow. Wow. Right, who? Jesus. It's like point blank and I'm missing. Ah, it's just interesting, like a little survivor camp down here. Well, I'll, uh, I'll not say no to to free loot. TFI, uh, we'll sell. Might as well sell that. Crucible, I don't know whether I need that or not, so we'll find out. Uh, scrap, take, uh, scrap, take, take. Not a huge amount of value, but you know, uh, we'll scrap all of that and we'll have the food of the cat. And scrap, I'm not going to bother with die. Wow, that's got some weird. Me up. Yeah, I'm trying to get. I don't want to be. I really didn't want to be underwater there. So, presumably, I have to get out the same way as I got in. Okay, right, I'm going to quickly um, harvest this lot and uh, and then we'll be on our way, I suppose, because I don't think there's really much more down here. But uh, I'll see you on top. All right, we're here. I genuinely cannot remember if I've been to this this army base or not. They can't, Some of these blur into one another but I don't recall coming to one of these this is the one with the uh, the flaming zeds in the uh, pit there so and the doors are open sorry closed even you know the opposite of open Tough guy, huh? So, yeah, we've definitely not been here. We've been past it a few times. Which of course means absolutely nothing. Don't really want any of them sneaking up on me though. So we'll we'll creep. Now, there's usually a 
one or two burny burny zombies here you know because they couldn't bother to do the job properly hence why the camp was overridden that's the story I'm telling myself anyway uh, I think that's probably it for the burnies there's usually a, probably a zombie up that one and they're more than likely need to turn my flashlight off I've just realised I'm walking around advertising my presence to everybody do 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 I heard that I don't know where it is I don't think it was from inside the camp though. Um, I'm feeling reasonably confident now. I could actually probably go a bit louder if I wanted to, but again, what's the point in building a stealth build if you're not going to? Be stealthy. That it? I would have thought there was at least one more surprise waiting for us. Right, let's deal with these um, nothing in there. That generator might be worthwhile checking out though. And again, if you were doing a lot of farming Worthwhile. This is a really good one for Niter and uh, thing. Weighted head. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a sell, but you know, you can't have everything. So I'm reliably informed. Uh, let's search for that while we're here. There we go. Bit of a death head, I think, there. Should. Oh, I didn't realise there was a. Oh, hello, grenades. All good stuff in here. Don't really need it. Take the glue though. Always take the glue. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What we got? Eh, got him. The only, the only real. Oh, hello. There's something on the top there. The only real downside I find, and again, I don't really need that. With um, the games you get on, is the books you find become less and less useful. It becomes harder and harder to find the. Uh, the good stuff, all right. Ooh, tight wad. Right, maybe something up there, so we'll uh, we'll go and check it. But I think we've probably got most of the good stuff. Do We'll take it. Uh, okay, and done you. This is all medical stuff, isn't it? Yeah, again, nothing I really desperately want. Oh, hello. 
Medical supplies are everywhere in here. Right, well, that was obviously not worth as much as I would have hoped, but let's head back and uh, get on. Re oh, God, I forgot. I've, you know, I absolutely just nearly literally wet myself when I realised I just walked straight over some mines until I remembered briefly that um, I've got the thing which allows me to walk over mines. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, uh, we're at the trader. A, I'm fairly certain this guy doesn't reset till day 70. So I don't think we're going to get a lot out of this. But we can sell the loot we've got. And uh, we can... Uh, Looking for something special. That sounds seedy as hell. Um, we can definitely sell all of these and then just see if he's got anything worth buying. Because the things like wrought iron, um, all of those things could be quite useful. So, you know, we might as well have a look what he's got because it doesn't really cost us out to browse. Uh, and for example, Forge Steel, 22, might as well buy it, it's, we've got the cash, we may as well have it. Not so worried about ammo, uh, that's all stuff I sold you, got plenty of that. Yeah, yeah, da, da. Uh, I might buy those, but they're not expensive and they're a bit of a pain to make, so... It doesn't really hurt to purchase them. Because, okay. <laughs> uh, a bit of, bit of, bit of nails, no. Don't think I've got anything there. And pretty much. I can't remember this stuff. Uh, blah blah blah. Penetrate one MRI block up to 250. I'm very tempted. Yeah. It does 70. So they both do the same damage now. I've got it. Thank God you're done browsing. Yeah. Next time I'll charge you for that. I don't know why it might. I suppose I trade agenda for in the last playthrough, so uh, I don't always get the miserable gits. But then again, I had wrecked on my own personal prey flu, so maybe I do. Who knows? End of days. Let me just quickly sort things out, and then we're gonna get on and get this wee thing built up proper. So I will be back in a second. All right, we're unloaded. We've got everything put away. I've got everything that we needed to have smelting. A um, whole load of ammo is complete as well. So we can definitely put that away. Should be okay, I think, for Horde Night, give or take. So we need to make a generator. That's our first beastie and for that we're going to need iron mechanical and electrical that's simple enough forged iron some uh, sorry electrical and mechanical I can't see it for looking so generator bank I'm going to craft one of those now the other thing I can't remember, did I make I don't think I made the um Yeah, I haven't made the hoofers yet, the the dart traps, so that's probably a necessity. And I'm expecting with all those forges burning, I'm expecting to get some uh, some scout action going. So, dart traps require forged diamond oil, 12. So, dart traps are, and I want two. So, they are all underway. Um, what am I like? I 
got some iron bars. I've definitely got some rebar block. Now, need concrete. And a nail gun. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to move this back one. And I know this is a pain tearing this up, but it will become apparent what I want to do in a moment. In fact, do I want to move it? No, let's, let's go back one. Let's. Oh, hello. Told you we'd have one of them along before. Losing a bit of firepower um, with the silencer when I get that, when I get to the point where I can do this. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? When the silence, uh, there's a perk that you get at later levels, I think. That looks to be them all. If there are any more down there, it's not a major problem, but you know, it's nice to work without having a zombie trying to eat your backside. Yeah. So there's a perk which basically you don't take any uh, damage from, or any lack of damage, or lead off of damage, I suppose, from a. Uh, right, from a hoofer. What's my jig? Thing of bobs. So, we're going to make you into a solid, and we'll, we'll do that. Oh, nope, I don't, ah, God, get the right thing. And then, what I think we'll do is we will, hmm, I'm going to take these ones out around the side, or at least two of them out around the side, and uh, we will try to get uh, a different shape block in here. That's the theory anyway. Let's see how we go. I'm going to chop these out. I'll be back in a moment. Alright, got the uh, blocks in. We're going to stick our generator bank down and the generator bank is of course going to be going here. And that's fine. Uh, and then I would like to see, and I don't know whether we'll get away with this or not. Uh, let's do advanced. That will be a no then. Um, hmm. How do I handle that? I'm not entirely sure. Think, think, think. I am really not sure what to best to do to for the best on that one. We will leave it for the time being. Um, I'm not desperate for this to be completely surrounded, but you know, it would be nice. So we're going to connect you. Quick scout round for scouts. Connect you to there. 
that's all connected up that's great and then we just need to do the same again on the other one oh and also connect it to the um, So that's going to connect to, yep, no, no zombie hordes incoming. That is going to connect to here. And rinse and repeat two more times for the blade traps. And, uh, and then we've just got the dart traps to put in and we are, we are good, I think. Let me get that done. Be back in a second. All right. All the rewiring is done. Um, we've we need to reload these, and we need to load the other ones. Um, I suppose the big question I've got now, and again, because I've got all these things running, I am being doubly cautious. for them <laughs> so we need to reload those now the big question is can I take those out now or do I even need to actually thinking about it because you still can't get they, the zombies can't get to it they run over here they're falling down I think we're good, you know. At least I think we're good in as far as that is concerned. Now, there's a few bits I want to do quickly. Um, and one of the bits is... Um, and this was a comment, and I apologise, I haven't got the, the comment screen open. But the... And I'd, I've done this myself a couple of times. Is... Build distractions for the Zeds. So just come out at places and wherever it seems appropriate. So for example, maybe here. Put a pillar block. Um, what did, how many was that anyway? One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one. Because I am going to park the car further away. I think that would be a sensible precaution. We can stick some torches on these, and the zombies will potentially be kind of tricked into. wailing on these rather than those blocks of my base of course it might not work at all but for the cost of a few pillars two three four five six and one two it's really not that much of a bother is it and plus you get all that lovely experience for for doing this as well so we'll just do this one here and I think that will probably do in the first instance um, yeah I think so right so I just need some torches to go on those just to make them multifunction so they'll light up the night a bit better and uh, we should be good I think with a bit of luck uh, let's drop all of that off and that pop that in there now torches fat cloth and wood Cloth, 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 cloth. I know I've got more fat than that. 
25. How many pillars did I put in? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times 8. Uh, 6 times 4. 24. There we go. And uh, yeah, that should do the trick. Right. Let me get those made. I'll be back in a second. All right. It's night time. Um, I've just made the mistake of shooting a couple of zombies, whereas actually what I wanted to do was, well, I won't get to test all of the uh, thing, but I will at least get to test whether they can pathfind up here with the um, with the new structure. This is. Um, fully on. I've only put one engine in because it seems to generate enough so that kind of seems a bit pointless doing that now. I'm going to spend the night over here and I might... Oh, it was a flag, I thought it was a vulture. If I'm very lucky I might get uh, a scout uh, and if I get a scout then we'll be laughing because I can test I can test the um, the defences to make sure that at least everything runs around in the nice little roundy roundy circle circle so I'll be back once we get some zombies or we get to the morning. Well, looks like we are out of luck for attracting any zombies tonight. Uh, the ones I shot were the only ones we got. And despite running all three furnaces, we were not able to lure any additional scouts in to test our defences. Now there's a chance we'll get a scout at some point because I'm, say, I'm running all four furnaces and that's going to raise the heat Oops, hello. quite substantially. Um, that one is just processing this, the iron and not doing anything with it. These are spitting out darts, as is that one, and that one. So with a bit of luck, we will have enough darts by the time we get to Horde Night. Now, the last, well, to be fair, quite often I run long in many of my series, but but this is particularly true in seven days and uh, I think it's partially because I am loving this mod. This is just such a, a great fun mod to play. So, you know, I'm not mod game. Ignore me. I, I know what I'm talking about. I just don't always seem like I know what I'm talking about. Um, so, this episode is going to run a little short. We're going to finish off here. And uh, I have been asked in the comments um, how long I expect this, this, this Let's Play to go on for. The, the simple answer is I don't actually know, although I kind of tentatively suggested that it may be around episode 50, maybe. The reason I say maybe is there are still a few things I'd like to do. Um, I would like to get a gyrocopter because I didn't get that far in in my last Let's Play. So... I think that would be a thing to have. I have got to a gyrocopter stage and they are brilliant. Um, 
so that's a thing that I would like to have and I'd like to get some better armor my uh, my armor's good but it could be better get to tier 5 quests and do one of the big tier 5 uh, dungeons or points of interest if you what well, if you prefer not not called dungeons so yeah but right now my big goal would have been to test the routing of the zombies when they come through and it's going to be really difficult if no zombies come in so i think next episode before we go through i might just scotch round and do a few basic loot runs in the area maybe try and cheese a few just you know once we've already um done and uh and then prepare for the horde night which hopefully will be less eventful at least, at least it'll be less eventful in terms of the zombies getting up here and storming the roof than the last horde night but on that note thank you very much for watching guys and uh and i will see you next time bye for now